Star Hardware Lab's research team has been leveraging facility improvements to bring major enhancements to the Transtar product line that will further optimize communication and safety aboard Talos 1. Newest enhancements to the Transcribe unit, a portable personal assistant device that is capable of voice chat, email, station navigation, and inventory management. This apparatus projects an LCD display screen that allows the user to navigate through station maps, Neuromod installs, weaponry, and other modes of communication. Where labs technicians have been prototyping a new piece of equipment that deconstructs matter. This dangerous device attracts all objects within a short radius and recycles them into material fragments. Our team has been beta testing a high-tech gadget that warps energy fields. Star power supplies prove to be stable. Our engineering operators are self-regulating robotic units that maneuver autonomously. They perform a variety of mechanical repairs aboard Talos 1. To protect their delicate wiring, all operators are now fitted with a small shield that guards electronics from exposure to heat. Damaged circuits can cause irregularities in the unit's behavior. While rare, there have been documented occurrences of aggression by malfunctioning units. These units should be terminated immediately. Hardware Lab's most popular weapon, the glue cannon, or Jellifoam Lattice Organism Obstructor, fires a quickly stabilizing stream of incapacitant foam. It can be used to immobilize Typhon. To avoid corrosion from the glue foam, Hardware Lab's techs have designed a rust-resistant carbon steel to line the glue cannon pipe. Typhon Lure is a device that releases a psycholuminescent night light to attract Typhon organisms. It can be thrown or secured to surfaces. Testing whether Typhon react to psycholuminescent stimuli requires increased safety measures. The 2032 Hardware Update Overview for Close 1.